Oh my god, she thinks she's the best tarot reader in the world or something. Well, her tarot is kind of amazing. Oh my god, you watch her tarot channel? Of course, after I saw you watching it. Oh my goody goody, oh my god! Oh yeah? <laughs> Talk nonsense and I'll block you. Oh my goody goody, oh my god. Why do they try to get blocked so bad? Oh my goody goody, oh my god. Be hey. Oh my goody goody, oh my god. I'm just trying to do love tarot. Call me stupid with a bow and arrow. Be hey. Hey Capricorn, so this is a very interesting reading today. We want to do what would your person say to you right now, face to face, no holds barred, no translators except for me, um, but no middlemen, nobody in their ear, although if they do have somebody in their ear, I'm going to spot it out and call all it out. But what would they say to you, Capricorn, if they had the opportunity to just like look you in the eye face to face with no consequences whatsoever, no crying, no fighting, no leaving, no silence. Just what is it, you know, that would be on their mind, Cap? Hang on. Um, I might be interrupted by a call. Hold on. If I'm interrupted, then obviously I'll just pick up where I left off. Okay. But yeah, so let's let's do that and see where we end up um obviously welcome to the channel everybody and if you are one of us hello again my schnookums this is schnookums land and if you're just joining please of course take note of the comment rules take note of the decorum and just the general sort of vibe of the channel right everybody here is an adult it's an adult vibe there isn't any like weird Karen behavior, no entitlement. We don't ask for time stamp. We don't, you know what I mean? Like we don't disrespect this labor or service. Otherwise there are consequences. If you watch the channel trailer, it'll tell you all about those consequences, but we're not into that right now. Right now we want to get to this reading and your person and the back and forth conversation. OMG, it's spicing up already Capricorn. Your person is first of all, fine fine i don't know if this is a past present or future person but somebody fine is showing up in your reading already this person respects respect just like me funnily enough i just talked about respect and they're talking about respect they're talking about dignity they're talking about all the things that the king of pentacles stands for and i feel like um this person has a lot of common you know, a, a lot in common with you. Um, I think that's why they would be attracted to you in the first place. Again, this, this could be an energy that you already know about now. And then for some of you, it just could be somebody that you meet in the future. But I feel like this person is just kind of saying, I do have a lot in common with you. And um, this is a lot of pentacles energy and you are pentacles as well. So a lot of earth. Yeah, definitely. This person is talking about the business they have to handle. OK, this combination is so strong. It's so overwhelming. And I do think that this person thrives off of feeling like people are intimidated by them. They don't mind that at all. This person has, you know, all the all the gifts in the world. Right. Like they're like, listen, I have this talent and that talent and I don't mind that I have it. And so they're experiencing that right now. And you know, they want to come to this place in their life where they're really successful and they would want everybody in their life to know that. And they will probably prioritize that over um, anybody else. Um, so I have this code for us. So this reading will be interrupted shortly, but I'll get right back. If they ring, I will pick it up and then I'll get right back to you. But first, I have to say that the stakes are so high for this person that they are willing to distance themselves from anybody including you yeah with that eight of cups energy if that's what they feel they need to do this person is saying that they will do it they will literally walk away not because they don't like or love you because again they have a lot in common with you but because their star is shining brightly in their mind they have a place that they want to go and when they reach the zenith man this might happen so a lot of fronting, a lot of masking. This is a little bit of deception. But again, I'm getting an alpha type. 
even if you don't know this person to have that type, that's who they are, a very hard worker. Do you know what I mean? Eight of Pentacles, that's no joke. That Eight of Pentacles is no joke. This person will do what they have to do to get where they need to get, even if it means stabbing a few people in the back. Um, I don't know the extent to which they would do that, right? You know, because everybody's different. Some people may go really, really low. Um, and some people, you know, they just do whatever they have to do and it's not that deep. But either way, this is a very strong personality. You might be worried about their opinion of you sometimes, right? Like whether this person feels that you are capable or not. You have history with this type of person, some of you, and they've caused, you know, they've caused some problems. These overly confident mofos that you've run, that you've run into uh, in the past, you know, they, they've left, you know, some trauma, they've left some drama, they've left all of that. And so now you're like, oh my God, you know, where can I find this softer energy, right? Like, because you respect respect as well, but you also need that romance and that love. This is Cup of Schnooks, King Cuppa. He's definitely a sweet omen on this channel. And by sweet, I just mean gentle and kind in terms of how he is received and how he would like um, to receive others as well. And I just think that you're strong as well, but, you know, sometimes you need your strength to be softened, right? Yeah, you, you like a little bit of play uh, with that full card. You like a little bit of, you know, um, leeway, some room to sort of, grow and prove yourself and you want to be in love and i see that so flirtatiousness is really important to you right now i see you sending a message soon but your person is like listen you have to jump on my bandwagon you have to sort of like balance out your emotional needs with who i am this person is really audacious okay they're like look it is my way or the highway and they're really hard workers so you have to be careful then do you know what I mean? Because if this person doesn't supply, you know, the softness that you need, then you should let them walk away and do their thing and work on themselves and achieve all the stardom and all the, you know, heights they want to climb in, in their own life and let them do their thing. Because you should never, ever put yourself last or be subject to any sort of emotional abuse, whether it's implied or direct. I'm not saying that this person is abusive. I'm just giving you that pep talk because that's what you need to hear, especially if you are, you know, if you've gone through certain things things in your life and you know certain patterns have happened to you that have left you in limbo um some of you just want to start anew start fresh get in love you know and that's fine send out those flirtatious messages and get ready to meet the person that will give you that softness this cup this emotion rather that, than that hard pentacle side which you already have okay all right um let us move on to oh wow you are really feeling for a long-term connection brand new beginning clearing out the air just cutting to the chase and yeah, maybe meeting this person where they are, right? In that star energy. But maybe if that doesn't work, then, you know, sort of seven of cups, walking away, leaving it alone. All right. Aquarius, your turn. Oops, sorry. She's shaking the camera. All right. So in this, we're just quickly going to tap into what your person would say to you right now. Why do I keep hitting the table? I'm so sorry. You know what? Let me pause this before you get annoyed. Okay. So that should prevent me from hitting the table any further. Um, if I do just forgive the setup here, just a few more days and then I'm in a totally new setup. Hang on one second. All right. Whew. Aquarius, <clears throat> so today's reading is a bit special because now we're getting a direct conversation with your person. What would your person tell you absolutely straight up right now with no in-betweens except for me? <laughs> if there were no consequences, what would your person say directly? Like the truth, cold as it is, Blunt as it is, what would this person say? Let's find out. Hello, everybody. This is Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnookums. Of course, you want to watch the channel trailer. Um, if you haven't already, you kind of want to look around, look at the comment section, look at the comment rules, feel the vibe out, you know, because even though it's not common, 
once in a while, someone who was born of the devil visits the channel and then we have to exorcise that person because they don't have respect, right? But that This is not that. This channel is about rules, respect, adulthood, and actual real tarot, okay? Skilled tarot. This is what that's about. Now, let's get started. <laughs> First message to you, Eight of Pentacles. Everybody seems to be sending this message of I'm busy today. You know, not today specifically, but all days, quite frankly, a general message of I'm busy. Your person is busy. I don't know how else to tell you that, but it's the brutal, blunt truth that they are talking about. This person doesn't even, oof, my goodness. Can I just tell you something? I know this is going to sound so strange. And if it doesn't apply to you, then that's fine. But to whomever this applies to, this is a hilarious thing that this person has just said. This person, this, this person just said, um, how do I translate that? Your hotness, yeah, distracts them. Like, Whatever it is that you're doing to be attractive to this person, it's like, it slows this person down. Almost as if, I don't want to say they're intimidated, but like, you know, the, 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 the whatever around you is like, woo, it's very hot. This person must be a nerd like me. You're the hot and they're the nerd. It's slowed down a bit. Now there's somebody from your past showing up. These are good energies though. This person isn't cold to you. This person is warming themselves up to you. I don't know if you made a recent change to your looks, but um, somebody else in the past wants to apologize. Oh, great. Come on. They're going to use this opportunity to apologize for something. Oh, you should have done that. Now we just want the hotness. We don't want the, the you know, oh, I'm so sorry for being a jerk, but that's what's coming across. You know, um, they're in limbo because, you know, there's a lot riding with their work and this and that and the other. Yeah, you can see the limbo energy right here and here as well. So I don't, you know what? I don't really blame people, all jokes aside, because the economy and all that is, you know, determining how people relate to each other these days. And, you know, this person does have a lot on their plate. Um, I'm really sorry, guys, for shaking the camera. I don't know why it's doing that. I know my leg is here. Okay, you know what? Let me remove my leg. Hold on. Um, oh gosh, I'm hoping that your person is not trying to juggle two people, by the way. Because that I, don't, I wouldn't like that for you. Hold on. Let me stop the camera. Hold on. Okay, this is this should be better. In a minute, it's going to stop shaking. But yeah, you know, I hope this person is just like not distracted by, you know, another person. But they could be. I mean, they could be distracted by another person, place, or thing. There's some obstructions here. Uh, which is causing a little bit of a wait time on someone's part. They find you intriguing. They find you beautiful. But I do think sometimes they get distracted. Now, I want to say the Four of Wands is coming out and it is a card of longevity and long term. Somebody from your past really thinks you're a catch. Like they're hoping that the universe, you know, makes something work with you and that fate brings you guys together for a new beginning. This Six of Cups energy is so romantic. Like it just has a lot of like romantic airs around it so i still feel like somebody has a crush on you so even if you don't have a person i think that you do have interest or you will soon that interest is really showing up here today like somebody thinks that you are you know kind of charming beautiful you have the five of one oh you may not realize that you see the six of cups the six of cups you may not be on the same page as this person you may be like you know what screw this person <laughs> screw this person i don't care if they think i'm beautiful you want it to be done 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 after all the conflict they brought wow aquarius i don't blame you though you have every right to feel however you want to feel of course, you guys know this is just a general reading. It's not your personal reading and it's not a service being provided to you, Karen. Um, <clears throat> of course, I'm just talking about one specific person. I'm not talking about you when I say Karen. Um, you know what? I see a new beginning for you, though. Yeah. You want this sort of serious relationship. You do. You daydream about it like sit in the corner and you're like agonizing when is this coming 
It's causing you, listen, it is causing you to have a lot of disruptions emotionally. Don't think that something is not going to happen because it's taking forever and a day. You know, I think fate is at play here, right? This Wheel of Fortune card that your person um, is wishing for, whether this person is a past, present, or future person, it is at play. So you kind of want to, you know, temper your anger, your frustration, whatever it is, and just kind of, you know, reach this maturity and wisdom. Now, the person in your past showing up, man, this is a little bit too complicated for today's reading. So we're not going to delve into that, but that is a little bit of a complicated situation. Moving forward, I do think that there are people that are showing up in today's reading who want to let you know that you they still think you're gorgeous. They fumbled the bag. Um, somebody let you get away. They were in limbo. A lot of what has been happening. Their busyness, their work, all of those things influence um, people's availability. All right, um, let us move. Oh, yeah. Well, I said that already. The person is somewhat sorry about well, something, yeah. All right, let's move to Pisces. <clears throat> Hello, Pisces. Welcome to the reading. So we're just going to do a quickie reading just to kind of see what your person would say to you directly, unfiltered, unmitigated, just raw, raw, unfiltered, talk that I will navigate between you and your person. I will moderate it and see what comes out. This is Shnookums Land. Everybody, welcome to my existing Shnookums. Everybody who is here, this is a grown and sexy channel. It's a beautiful space for everybody to just relax, have fun. This is not a service being provided to you. I know there is, there's one or two. <laughs> There's somebody out there nicknamed Karen who really thinks that, you know, this is a service and uh, no, those, those days are over where you get free labor from people who look like me. So um, <laughs> let's take this beauty for what it is. Let's get this reading done and make sure you read the rules of decorum here. Now, moving forward. Um... I will say, my gosh, so is this what your person wants to say to you? This could be your person, past, present, or future. <clears throat> I don't, what, why? Let me see what's at the bottom. King of Swords, oof, Lord. You know, it's funny because with with these cards I'm seeing just as I cut the deck, oof, yikes. There's, so, there's such a mixed bag, but honestly, <clears throat> what I'm getting is this person is basically saying like when you want to say something you have a roundabout way of saying it you don't just say what you need to say you just go round and round and you know and like leave something hanging and what this person is trying to say to you that's why sometimes they're just very black and white very cold <clears throat> because they're like listen what are you trying to say because if you don't say it I'll say it Right, just back and forth, not stable, Knight of Wands energy, in and out. Um, this is just not certain. And so th this person feels like that's driven by fear. And this person is trying to explain their own ghosting behavior with some of these things. Um, but I think this person would like to see you again, Three of Cups energy. They just feel like things are better done in the flesh. Ah, oh, man. But somehow they've not been able to get through. Either you're blocked or they've blocked you. Um, just some sort of situation here. You guys, this is the trickiest reading so far. Um, this person is still holding, yikes. I think they're still holding a lot of feelings for you. I mean, this is the Queen of Cups. You see what I'm saying? They're still holding feelings for you. So, um, I don't know. This is a tough one, you know, because... This is not making sense. This is not stable. The Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, it's kind of like something is hanging in the balance. Um, someone's on short, in and out. But then even the Two of Swords with the Death card, it's almost like something is blocked, over, done with. And yet this person is saying, if not for this happening and that happening and that happening and that happening, 
seeing you in person, having the opportunity to meet in person, celebrate, have a drink, go to a bar, uh, whether it's your favorite bar, whatever, whatever, that brings back, you know, they get this the feelings of warmth, you know, sort of come rushing in. So it's very tricky, you know, I think you're, you're, you're clueless sometimes about how a certain person feels in your life. Um, uh, man, you're very guarded now as a result. Look, there's a block somewhere. So this seems to be picking up someone specifically for some of you. Okay, for some of you, this is really going ahead and picking up someone, um, you know, who simply just can't access you at this time for whatever reason. Maybe you've decided that or they have this person you oh what let me set up for this pisces then what do you want you're acting like a libra today what's going on do you want this person or do you not want this person do you want the past do you want the future you have to make up your mind because you know okay you want love but with whom some of you want it with the future person. You just want you want it with anybody who will make you happy. I get it. But sometimes you know that you seem to be swinging on a pendulum, back and forth, back and forth, because you don't reveal what what you feel. You you seem to be guarded. Um, people re may read that as ghosting energy, and you're not all of that accessible all the time. Things have slowed down between you and somebody as a result. Uh, my back is killing me. Hold on. I'm not getting standoffish energy from you, you know. I'm not, but I am getting that, you know, maybe... Maybe there's somebody who can't come through, Pisces. I don't know what's blocking, you know, what that moon is blocking. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. Page of Swords at the bottom. Five of Pentacles. Pisces, this this is not um <clears throat> it's almost like some of you are living in the past because you're still going off of the hurt of what somebody else has caused and it's really really hard to reach you right now because your emotions are you know they're just doing something so weird yeah look at you oh my gosh mm, you want to start very small with people because you know, the thing is, when you start talking to people, you get really connected really fast. You're attached very quickly. But then something spirals. It doesn't stay. It does. It, it, it like starts going in and out. Maybe an argument happens. Maybe somebody overpromises something, but then it stays in stuck mode. And then it does what? It breaks your heart. I get it. No wonder, you, you know, no wonder you're a little bit, you're a little bit blocked. Yeah. At the very least, this is definitely an emotional and, uh, you know, maybe even spiritual block as a result of the pains that you've endured. So at this point, you're just kind of taking it slowly, easily. Now, I will say there's a message that either you're waiting to receive or that you've sent. I think you're going to be sending a message soon, Pisces. You're going to get your flirtation on. That I can tell you. With who? You're just gonna be get you're just gonna flirt <laughs> it's a flirtation oh yeah uh -huh. i know it you see that you're going to be sending messages oh look at the king of cups that's you cup of schnooks coming out but i'm feeling a little bit you know sad for some pisces though because not only is this blocking something, it's also a little bit of anxious energy. You know, you have anxiety as a result of certain things that you've experienced in the past. And I hope you heal from that. And just know that not everybody is that way. But maybe you are right to, to filter people a lot more than you, you know what I mean, than you did in the past. Okay. If that makes you feel better, then hey, who am I to stop it? Do you know what I mean? All right. Let's go to Aries. La 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 la. Arian. Arian. Aries, how are you, lady and gentleman? How are you? So we're going to get like all the unfiltered, raw messages, the direct conversation, everything your person would tell you, like 
if there were no consequences, okay? That's what I want to know. What will your love life do? Um, I want to say, obviously, welcome to Schnookum's Land, everybody. Hope you're well. Um, please make sure you read the comment rules and just know how to act. This is a grown and sexy channel. Everybody here is like, you notice, I mean, look around, read the room. It's grown, sexy. Nobody asked me for any more free labor than I already provide. We don't come in here. Oh, we had timestamps. We don't do that, right? Because what happens if we do that? I, I encourage you to watch the channel trailer, Karen, and see what happens when you, uh, when you expect for this to be your free service being provided to you. Uh, this is not a service, you know, I know that's a hard concept to get, but this channel is not a service to you. It is my channel that you happen to stumble upon, FYI. Having said that, let's get to these messages. They are raw, unfiltered, direct, and they will let you know what your person, past, present, or future, has to say to you. I will say that Queen of Cups is lovely. It is sweet. It is charming. It is filled with love. Oh, I love that Ace of Wands. Fire is what you need when you have this cup. They balance out each other so nicely, those energies. Brand new, passionate beginning for you, sir or madame. Um, you have the opportunity here to be tested. What does that mean? Okay, well, some of you have told yourself, oh, well, I learned this, I learned that, and I said I would never go through this again, and I would never do that again. Okay, okay. Guess what? You're coming through to a crossroads, and your person um, is basically going to be a test. I think your person is telling you that they have a lot of love for you, very passionate, they, would, they will rock your world physically. But the universe is also saying that this person will be a test because you will have more than one option. Or they are telling you that they have more than one option and both of you will see if you choose each other, right? Seven of Cups, a lot of options showing up here as well as just this idea that there's only one out of many. Out of many? One, e pluribus unum. So that is really, yeah, the core of this message to you today. Not a whole America model, honey. Yes. Um, let's see what is... Um, Latin is such a pretty language, isn't it? Let me speak some more of it. Um, what can I say? other than e pluribus unum, sounds a little bit like anum. Oh, God, a rectum, all these Latin names. Okay, I have one, um, civis amari ama. That means if you want to be loved, love. Isn't that deep? That's deep, right? Oh, snap, I spoke too soon. What is this? Aries, I said, if you want to be loved, love. Why are you giving me the devil? You're always the naughtiest sign. Whenever I get to you, you always want to do something naughty. You're like, oh, I can love, all right. But that devil card is very naughty. It's everything of the flesh, right? So it is is the carnal energy. It's addictive. It's obsessive. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's the human vice. And you're taking advantage of it. Ooh, two aces for you? Aries, your love life is about to spice up like crazy. Like crazy. Like if you finally meet the person whom you're mutually attracted to, um, I think it just might start you off on a love journey. Now, I do see a message that you've been trying to, I think, send to... Oh, my God. Look at your beautiful cards at the bottom. Major arcana in the works. It's going to sweep away all of the minor things that you've been dealing with. Yeah, I mean, lots of nights involved. So I know somebody's going to approach some of you single soon. And for those who are who are taken, uh, or at least in a relationship or situationship, I think you have an opportunity to see a brand new side of someone and really 
Yeah, the flirtation is up there. It's heating up. Both of you agree on that. And you, my dear, are ready. You're like in heat. Oh, geez, Louise. You are in heat, ready to go. Queen of Wands energy. So I see some messages back and forth. You might be waiting for a message. I see some messages back and forth from your person forthcoming. I do think this person um, wants to grow with you. You will definitely run into something like that. Um, although sometimes this person has, has some, you know, has some qualities of being just a test for you in your love life to see if you've learned anything. Uh, simply because there's just too many other options present. And sometimes this person has the veneer, almost as if things are too good to be true. So just, you know, just look behind the celestial, look behind that too good to be true energy and see if you've actually, you know, spotted the right person in a crowd. Again, e pluribus unum, see if you've done that. If you've picked out of many, one. All right, um, let us go to Taurus. All right. Um, let's go here. The voices are all so, you know what I mean? So cute. Those childish, those like childlike angel. Anyway, so hello. Oh my God. Wow. Today is like, the weather is just such indoor weather. Let's see what we have for you, Taurus. So today's reading is focusing on like what your person would say to you directly with no holds barred. Okay. And if you're just joining the channel, you want to make sure you watch the channel trailer. You behave accordingly. This is not a service, Karen. You know, all that all that stuff isn't seen here. Everybody here is well behaved. This is an elegant channel. All right. Um, a person I think would mm, wow, okay. So this is either your present past, present, or future. Um I think your person would try to put forward some leadership in terms of how the connection goes or doesn't go. I think they would want to lead the conversation, right? Which is what the King of Swords would be capable of doing. The Swords, of course, being very much representative of words, thoughts, uh, um, not actions, not at all, okay? Not at all, wands or actions. So logic, communication, um, you know, discourse, all of those things. So that King would be capable of doing that. And this person would want, right, to exercise control over some of those conversations and you've probably experienced that already in your past connections with people um i'm a little bit worried about that five of pentacles though oh hang on anyway so as i was saying i'm a little bit worried about that five of pentacles because i do feel like this sense of loss let's see what yeah darn it and now a five of cups hmm. why does it seem to me like you have dealt with people who spin things you know it's funny because this is supposed to be a blunt reading but this is a master spinner this person spin things spins things i mean you know, it is what it is. If something is broken, then it's broken. If they feel sad or they've not been able to make you feel happy, then that's what it is. But when you talk to them, they seem to sort of change the conversation a bit and take control of the narrative. So if you've had a history of that, that's what's coming through, even though I don't love it, um, because obviously it establishes this person as this kind of wishy-washy energy. Um, I don't think it's, oh, anyway, uh, let me not judge. Ex but see, I was just about to say, I'm not judging, but look what it's doing. I was just about to say, it's, it's, I don't think it's stable. And as a result of that, look at this closure issue that comes about. You then go through multiple cycles with this person 
Uh, what needs to close doesn't, right? So either you do it with this one person or you do it with multiple people. So the things that are supposed to close never close when they're meant to. And sometimes that could be a block to your blessings. So you have to be able to navigate and, and look past what your person is saying sometimes because they're only going to strategize what is going to leave them, you know, in, a ben in, in the benefit, in the, what's the opposite of deficit? This is deficit and this is the opposite of deficit. So even though this fell short of a seven of swords, which is a little bit of a tricky energy, I do feel, you know, this person is a little bit tricky with their words. You know, they, they, they bend the narrative and fit things to their own benefit. Um, don't lend any money, please. To anyone that you're dating taurus don't work with people that you're dating if you can help it unless of course you're yeah because it's going to end up in some turmoil okay um i do think that some of you are taking your love life well or at least better you're, you're finding this self-satisfaction but right dealing with a certain type of person though brings you into a space where you're absorbing their own depression, anxiety, or whatever it is, because you're seeing something and it's almost like they're gaslighting you into thinking that you're not actually seeing it. Oh, I don't like that for you. You want to hold on to something. I think it's out of pride. You know why I'm saying that? Because where's the love? You need your own happiness. Um, something is being blocked here or... Um, um, what is the clouded by your will to still hang on to something but I think someone here is spinning stories okay just because they can just because they have the ability to kind of like twist words in a certain way and if you don't have a person then that's the kind of person you've been attracting and the message would be stop it all right um this is like okay Gemini, how are you? Welcome to the channel. So let's get you your quick reading today. We're just going to tap in and see the messages we get. We have typically found out what your person will say to you. Like if they had no barriers and no consequences, what would your person, whether it's your future person, past person, um, or your present person, what would that person say? Let's see. Oh, oh, the hair font. That is insane. By the way, welcome, Schnookums. Hello, everyone. This is Schnookums Land. And hello to my existing Schnookums. Do you know what the hair font is? It's the marriage card. Well, that's a very colloquial way of explaining what the marriage card is. But typically, you know, because it rules institutions and the status quo and all of those things, we take it to just colloquially mean marriage and tarot. But of course, you know, it's much more involved than that. By the way, hello to everybody. Just keep in mind, if you're new here, please watch the channel trailer. Make sure you get the rules of the channel. Make sure you look at the comment rules, all of that stuff. This is a grown and sexy channel. Adults only. Um, no misbehavior. No asking for free extra general labor right because these are not those days where people of my color were giving you free labor and servicing you this is not a service yeah karen it's not it's not your service you didn't turn on to your personal service here you're watching a tarot reading on my channel yeah that's that's kind of how this works so you don't come here making demands about timestamps and things of that sort otherwise block 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 kind of day anyway so nine of pentacles though that is a huge contradiction and so i think that actually has been the story of your love life it is like you go high one minute right with so much possibility the hierophant taking you to this place of potential or you see somebody and immediately 
you give them the crown jewel and you're ready to take them there you're ready to get married you're ready to do everything beautiful with this person and next thing you know they leave you single solo or they go ahead and they do their own thing or they become really fearful of commitment and you're like where is this coming from why is this person so afraid or not even afraid just i mean nine of pentacles just solo independent able to do things without your help without your need um but still want you around interestingly enough especially with this magician card here it has some of that gemini energy in it um wow i mean but most importantly it is a manifestation that's happening so i think this person is just kind of saying to you you're everything and then some if only you know i could live up to half of you know what you are and what i've seen that you can be and if this person's lack of confidence is what's causing him to go in and out you're gonna have to decide because i i think it's a toxic trait they think it's a toxic trait what do you think let's find out now this could be of course your person past present or future that we're picking up you guys know this light drives me crazy it's just gone off but it's fine ah you can't help who you love i mean you, you have the ma magician cards mirroring each other um and you have yourself forcing yourself in many connections to just kind of go distant a little bit, separate yourself in order not to get hurt. And I totally hear you. I think you're full of love and sometimes you give the love too freely. And that's what gets you into situations in which you're dealing with people who are not quite ready. And so they leave, they leave you on this stuck mode, in this stuck mode, and they don't take it anywhere. And so I just think that you can free yourself Oh, what's happening here, Gemini, is you're not getting people who match your, as uh, T.G. Jakes put it, he said, sometimes you're gallon people, right? Some of us are gallon people who match with others who can only give pints. So sometimes this big love that you have over here, right, from this almost maternal place, doesn't matter if you're male or female, but it's such a huge energy of love and cooperation with people sometimes you know as innocent as you may be in certain situations your heart is so big and you meet people who can't match what you've given so you end up a little bit short here because this cup does not match this one and so i mean obviously it's forcing you to distance yourself sometimes or you feel the distance and the drift in between you and somebody else i do feel like there is a manifestation still happening though i mean both of you, whether this is someone you know or will know soon, seem to be manifesting each other despite all of that and seem to have a connection that you're not able to shake as easily because one or more parties is slightly obsessed. Oh, interesting. Let's see about cancer next. I met someone on the train and she was just like talking to me and I was like why is she talking to me like she was like friendly and I was like whoa you know what I mean like what do you want what's really going on I'm suspicious it was just weird I don't know why I just picked up her energy I don't know what that has to do with cancer anyway what's up cancer how are you I hope you're well Let's do a reading for you, Cancer. I just want to kind of be nosy today. Listen, this is shaking a little bit because of how I'm positioned. The thing is, if I'm not positioned this way, then I can't do the readings because I, I don't want to sit anywhere else but here. That's the thing. Let me see if I can adjust a little bit. I don't want to sit anywhere else but here because if I do, I'm not going to be able to sit there long. Do you know what I mean? So this is what's happening. Yeah? Is it too much? Is it? Okay. It's probably shaking a little too much. Okay, maybe this is better all right um no it's still shaking yeah 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 i know what should i do maybe i'll move this more let's see is it still shaking because i can't like i literally have to sit this way otherwise my back will hurt and then i can't do the reading 
Let's see, this might work. Okay. So here's what we're finding out today. We want to know what your person would say to you if there were no holds barred, nothing held back. Tell me everything. Say what you need to say just really quickly. I'm going to take a snapshot of that. You're on the left, your person's on the right. Let's see what they come up with. Um, of course, it's a general reading. It's not a real reading and it's not personal to you, okay? So this is not a service being provided, Karen. Yeah, you don't get your little timestamps, darling. Go elsewhere. You don't get free labor. Yeah, you're on my channel. It's not a service provided to you. Just have to let people know about the decorum. By the way, if you're new here, you definitely want to watch the channel trailer for more on decorum. Grown and sexy only adults channel. Uh, no kiddies. Um, four of pentacles and judgment. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like this, the way this person is posturing. I'm sorry, because this person is saying to you, and I, I okay, fine, I, I invited them to talk, but this person is kind of saying, oh, you're going to regret <laughs> they're saying oh you're gonna regret whatever it is that you know they're still hanging on to something and not releasing that and they're like oh when judgment day comes you're gonna get and they're not budging in their stance they're saying oh it's gonna be you they're shifting all the blame to you and they're saying whatever it is that you know whatever decision that you didn't make in their favor you're going to regret it you know that kind of thing um oh this person fancies you still they're almost upset if you're moving on. If you show any signs of moving on from this person, I can see them being big mad. Um, oh, wow. That's a lot of mad. Jeez, Louise. Well, it's coming all out. I told them to talk. I gave them the floor. Um, this person is certainly still enamored with you. Somebody here is in love with you, in love with you, in love with you, in love with you. And yet is trying to posture and say that, well, you, it's your loss. You're going to regret, you know, yada, yada, yada. And, um, you know, especially if you do not have a person, then this, this reading cannot connect in that way. If you don't have anyone at all who's thinking about you, because this is something that someone wants to say, right, to specific Cancerians who would wonder about that cancer you, my love, might fall for something like that. Don't. You and your big heart with the lover's card. Look at that. You know, you wanting to embrace. These water signs have big hearts. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Although Scorpios, you know, they're a different story. Be careful of a Scorpio. Be careful of a Scorpio. Um, I just think this big heart was left alone too many times and left depleted. And a result of that, as a result of that, you probably took an, a bold action because you saw, yeah, I mean, where is all this talk going? You know, if it leaves you hanged, you have to take care of yourself is what you've told yourself. I need to do this for myself. Yes. And so you are confirming it's like, yeah, I'm not letting go of the memory of what it is that caused this conflict. You're still thinking about it. It's gotten you anxious. And I think you're ready for this Wheel of Fortune to turn. You're in healing mode right now because of all of this injury. This person is like, they have to be aware that, you know, deep down inside, these are fives. You know, regardless of the fact that I feel this person wants to be in your life, wants to approach you like this night, these are fives. These are things that you've been through. All the fives have come out. You know, they're all challenges. And instead of helping, I feel like this person derailed some of your success to be very blunt. And so the nerve of them to say, oh, you're going to regret and you're still hanging on to this and they're still hanging on to that. Oh, yeah, you have every right to do that, Cancer. Um, let's go on to Leo. Let's see. Hey, Leo, and welcome to the reading. All right, so we want to do a quick reading to just kind of gauge what's up with you, what's going on with you, Leo, and we want to see, of course, what your person would tell you if there were no holds barred. What would they let you know if there was no 
well, I'm the third party, so they have to say it while I'm here. But if there were no consequences, yeah, what would your person just tell you directly, face to face, whether or not you've seen them, whether or not this is a past person, a, a present person, or a future person, whoever comes out. All right. Welcome to Schnookums, Schnookums land, everybody. Hello to my existing Schnookums. Ah, of course, remember, this is not a service being provided to you. I know some people get that really confused. You, you want to take a look at the channel trailer and see how we do things around here. It's very adult, uh, you know, sophisticated channel for sophisticated people. And uh, if you decide not to get on their vibe, we, we also have a solution for you that's really permanent. So you can... You can try whatever you want and see what result you get. All right. Um, five of swords energy showing up. Oh, with the six of pentacles. So you have always had a problem around what you give versus what you get. There's conflict around the giving, the gratitude, the respect that you get for giving and so on and so forth. Selfishness is a huge theme today. This person is talking about uh, challenges with you know, feeling like when you give some, something, you want acknowledgement and you feeling like this person does not, you know, to acknowledge in the way that you would like, um, it, it creates a burden. It creates a tug of war. It creates um, a story of two people who don't get along. Uh, argumentation showing up here with these very sharp swords um, and somebody just not really holding back. Now, I will say, though, that this person feels to me like they're, they're saying that they have moved forward and they've learned a lot from you, just from knowing you. Um, right, I mean, they're, they're sorry for whatever. They offer you a token of apology, but they're still holding on. This person's a little bit stubborn with these pentacles coming out. They're still holding on to whatever could have caused any sort of discord between the two of you. Now, I, I will also say... Um, the, the, um, the framework of giving with expectation will always cause a challenge. I think they're saying that as well. I think some of you probably learn to people please or to give or to cater to others because of your family backgrounds. Um, it's just the way society has taught you to behave, even gender wise. Yeah, look at that queen coming out. And so, you know, sometimes, you know, you're, you're helping as a result of the accolades that you want to feel like or the praise that you want to feel like you'll get for helping and when that doesn't happen i think it leads to a feeling of resentment um i think you're waiting patiently for somebody to open your heart you know and to excite you and to give you the passion that you want some of you are thinking of going out being more social some of your family members or network People in your network, your tribe are encouraging you to do that because they feel like maybe some of you have been stuck on your past too long. Yeah, that person does not appear to be the right person. There's something here showing up there with the Seven of Swords energy and you seem to have spent a lot of time sort of spying and that is depleting you. I think you as a Queen of Wands um, want to take your power back and you you know you're being encouraged by other people over here to kind of do so and I think in time you'll see some of your outlook change and you'll start to maybe listen if you're going to give somebody something just you know expect nothing back in return that will help you know some of this energy because you you know your person is blunt, very bluntly saying it and pointing to argumentations that have led to certain resent, resentments. But moving forward, I think, you know, your person is apologetic and they feel like you're a lot to handle, if I'm being very honest. They're apologetic that they couldn't fulfill what you were looking for and, you know, they wish you the best. Um, they just feel like, yeah, they're not budging very much. They feel like you were a lot to handle. And that's fair enough. Everybody is a lot to handle for the wrong person, right? The right person would never say that. Okay, Virgo, it's your turn. Let's just do a quick reading to capture ooh, ooh, what your person would say to you without any interruption. If they had zero interruptions. Welcome to Snookums Land, everybody. Hello to my existing Snookums. 
please be sure to watch the channel trailer if you're new here and see the decorum. This is an adult style, sophisticated channel for people who do not feel entitled, will not ask for more free labor than they are already given, and who are, you know, smart enough to understand that this is not a service being provided to you. You didn't pay for this, and even if you did, you still would not have the entitlement, okay? Um, now let's move on. You don't want your name to be like Rosemary, who's been blocked. Don't be a guinea pig. Don't be made an example like she has been. Um, let's get this show on the road. All right, the magician. Hmm. That's not, that's not, yeah, I was about to say, that's not really bad, actually. I actually even see somebody approaching you, um, kind of in a loving way. Um, this is very loving, the two of cups. And this person is moving quite quickly. I feel like there's a manifestation here. Um, and this being on the universal level, on the, on, I'm sorry, on the level of the universe, um, you know, with the major arcana, I think is a prompt that something is changing in your love life. And I think this person, right, whether it's a person past, present or future is coming into your life in a very loving way and in a very quick, swift way. Wow, this is beautiful energy for you. This is probably one of your better readings. Your readings are not always so. Now, this person may be hanging in between a decision. This person may have a decision to make. Um, something tied to work over there. But, you know, they're hoping that fate will bring you two together soon. This person is sincere about how they feel about you. At least that's what's being said over there. So... Yeah, I mean, that would be really interesting to see. You also have... Um, you know, when these swords are coming out, it tells me that you have had certain struggles with communicating some of how you feel with somebody that you're really invested in. Now, that could have been a past moment that could have already happened, but you're willing and open to sort of try again. There's a connection here that I'm picking up. Interesting. Good for you. I mean, I hope you summon the courage, right, to say the right things um, and to get yourself out, out of this place where you feel like you've lost out on something or someone. Um, there's a lot of growth here that your cards are showing, very abundant there with the Empress. And, you know, you've had a few bumps along the road, but this is showing, you know, that you have a potential for abundance that you're going, you're headed towards. Um, of course, you've been worried a lot about something you said or didn't say or a person you cut off or were forced to cut off. All of that has probably drained you a little bit. And I think you have the wrong impression about this person. I think there's somebody here who is actually still very much interested and connected to you, or at least will be if this wheel turns in your favor. I see a lot of good things with that profitability there, with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and I see somebody who's worked on themselves who's, and also, you know, has worked on other things, you know, labor, of course, showing up here and uh, the pentacles being important to them. But they have had to make a decision, maybe with these split energies, two of pentacles, two of cups, the decision was between you and another person. Otherwise, it could have been between you and another person place or thing so obviously this person is just keeping it real using their own voice and encouraging you to do the same all right um let's move to libra yeah i wish i hadn't put it in the laptop damn it all right libra let's have your reading by you, I mean you, plural. I do not mean that this is a service being provided to you, okay? You're not watching a service being provided to you. You've not paid for it, nothing. We have no connection whatsoever on that level. This is an open YouTube channel, Karen, okay? Now, let's get started. This is Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnookums. This is also the No Entitlement channel. Please feel free to watch the channel trailer for a very good picture of how we operate around these parts, okay? That's exactly what we do. 
Keep your cool on my channel, please. Don't act the fool on my channel, please. Because it's a block, 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 block kind of day. And I will block, 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 block you right away. Yeah. All right. What would your person say to you if there was nothing preventing them from being absolutely honest? Really quick snapshot over here. Um, this is your person past, present, or future, what messages would come out? Man, this person has had to hide from you, remain in hermit mode, and suppress just how much they want to devour you. Um, now, of course, we don't know, right? In this reading, something is being hidden here. Even before I pulled out this moon card, which hides a lot, it was also this, right? The Hermit card. So this is obviously somebody who uh, maybe you've not spoken to in a while, or it could be somebody who is, you know, ahead of time, right? In the time co continuum, meaning someone in your future. Either way, yeah, um, I see a connection here that may start out with some hidden elements, with some hiding, uh, <laughs> and then blossom into a full-blown Libra show. I think somebody might be very fond of you. Very similar to Virgo, by the way. I know this is Virgo as a hermit, but I don't call out signs when I'm doing these readings because everybody, you know, I mean, there's so many signs. People have multiple signs. It's just, it's, you know, there's no point in doing any of that. Um, but I will say, I think, you know, this person in, in the next social setting that you get the opportunity to really sort of um, engage, I think this person will... Um, yeah, you, you two might collide. And I think they may have a lot more to say. If you have anything work-related that has a social attached to it, you may want to consider some of that. Let's see what's on here for you. Oh, not you telling me where's my husband, lady. Okay, that's the Hierophant card, Hierophant energy. It's all about, um, you know, it's all about marriage. It's all about connection. Wow, that's really heavy on your mind. Um, you've gotten more spiritual. Yeah, look at you. Spirituality, thinking, resting, and reflecting in a very deep spiritual way. The Hierophant obviously rules that realm. You know, he guards institutions, even religious institutions at the forefront, uh, which govern marriage uh, and all of that stuff. So he governs tradition, right? Um, Wow, look at his cat's apart. What is up? Woo, not the magician. So you are in a very spiritual phase of your life. Very deeply spiritual phase of your life. These two are spiritual counterparts. This is just the more you know masculine energy and this is the more feminine one. But they are flanking this card over here that has you at peace, restfully thinking about how you want to do connections moving forward. So connections for you moving forward will no longer be frivolous. I don't think you will do that. A lot of you will not have frivolous connections or distrustful ones, you know, full of jokers anymore. You're manifesting something deep. I can see that here. Um, and you're just letting anybody know, past, present or future, where you stand. You're no, In fact, they will know by a change in your um, demeanor. You're still holding on to lessons you've learned, lessons that tortured you, which I don't blame you for, right? And those... Those torturous lessons have taught you a lot um, and you're being strong in standing still because of this, right? Somebody in the past whom you had to walk away from or somebody you walk, oh, who walked away from you has taught you so many lessons now that you're holding on. You're holding on to a lot of that hurt, those lessons. You're staying strong and now you're making demands and saying, I've thought about this and I want the best. I want connection and I'm not budging. For my spiritual um you know feeling you know my spiritual demands requirements oh man you're getting into a deep deep place you've learned a lot and i think you are ready and i know right that your person would say to you <laughs> empress this is libra but whether you're male or female your person would say do you know what let's see in person and then i will show you just how much work right i'm willing to put into this if this is something that brings me satisfaction, this is the type of person who puts work into whatever it is 
that brings them satisfaction. And if that's you, Empress, if that's you, Libra, you have something coming. Um, let's see, Scorpio, how are you? Welcome to the channel, Scorpio. This is Shnukum's Land. Let's get this show on the road. Why am I sitting in the most uncomfortable position? I don't know. I don't know. Let's get this show on the road, Scorpio. Yeah, but how is it already? All right. This is Schnookum's Land. Hello to my existing Schnooks. Let's get this party started. So this is whatever your person would say to you if they were like no holds barred. Um, nothing disrupting them, nothing in their way. What would they say to you? Oh, why the hermit and then the five of wands, though? Oh my gosh. I think this person feels like somebody has to pull the trigger, like when it comes, figuratively speaking, of course, like if something hurts too badly, this person is saying, listen, if, if something enriches me, you know, cool um time will tell but if something is causing injury especially for the both of us um i'm going to cut cut it off like regardless of the conflict it causes this person is willing to do that because they want to be responsible in their connections they want to invest wisely no matter how much love they have for somebody i think this person yeah this person is a huge gatekeeper man this person doesn't joke around so whether this is someone you know or someone you will know I mean, the, the unfiltered message is that they will cut off what is injurious and what does not serve. This person is a tight, you know what? Um, they're open when they've deemed it necessary to be open, but then they are closed to anything they deem to be too much, right? You know, if it causes too much injury on either side, this person is saying that they will stop it because they've probably been in previous engagements, relationships and connections that really wasted their time. And now time is ticking for them, right? With that temperance card, it's all of that patience, all of that time, temperance, you know, telling them, all right, act swiftly, you know, if you need to with the sword. Um, and that swiftness can be good or bad. It could be bad if they're like, the swiftness is swiftly cut somebody off. And it could be good if the swiftness is swiftly get together with someone. You also are swift, right? That Knight of Swords, very swift energy. Um, but the thing is, hmm. my issue with these messages that are coming out even on your side on this person's side is yeah neither person wants to waste the other person's time because your experiences have left you stuck for example or their experiences have, have brought them drama for example and i see swiftness everybody's talking about swiftness. i will swiftly cut off i'll swiftly do this but if that's the attitude going in, does that really work? You know, will that allow enough time, right? Temperance and patience, the patience needed to actually get to know somebody because is your trauma driving things or are you? It's a very thin line because your soulmate could be in your miss. And because of trauma, you might, you know, sort of cut something off or dismiss something too quickly before letting it take a hold and you end up back here, you know, without the person, place or thing that you're looking for in life. So it's very, very interesting. I think some of you therapy is needed, um, you know, and a lot of balancing because I see some soulmate energy. I see brand new beginnings, obviously great, 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 um, cards, major arcana cards, but definitely <laughs> a pacing issue and a timing issue with you and your person, so, I mean, and two of you have the same attitudes around time. It's not very patient. <sighs> wow. 
why is my computer dying? So annoying. Every like they invent everything under the sun. They think they're so modern. Oh, we have the internet. Oh, we have this. We have that. You're so modern, and yet you can't invent devices that don't need a charge every three seconds. Why do I have to charge my laptop over and over? And I just charge this thing. Every we always need. I'm right now. I'm charging this phone. Why are we still in an era where these phones need to be tied to an electrical socket? That is not progress to me. Until you invent phones and things that don't need to be charged, you're not that deep. This is Schnookums land, everybody. Hello to my existing Schnookums. Make sure you watch the channel trailer to know how to act on this channel. Be grown, be sexy, be cool. Understand there's no entitlement, no timestamps. Don't ask me for any free labor. Or guess what? We'll block, 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 block you any day. All right. Now, back to this. Um, What would your person say? Like, you know, if they were unfiltered, raw, and they just had to give it to you straight. Well, right now, whoa, a lot. They would say a lot with that eight of wands energy. <laughs> I think your person would leave you hanging at first to test you. This person is just such a, look, look at this. See, I knew I would see this narcissistic energy. I'm not calling them that, but I'm saying they have certain tendencies that man play on your ego. They wait, they pause and they say absolutely nothing. And then when you give them all the attention, that's when they want to talk, they want to charm you and they want to make sure that you're still invested in them. That's what the heck they would say. They want to make sure that you're still invested, still under their spell, still hooked, okay? Hooked on them like people were hooked on phonics back in the 1990s. Um, magician card coming out. Mm. Oh, interestingly, I think this person had high hopes for you. If you, you know, if you don't have uh, a future, per if you don't, I mean, ooh, damn it, Six of Pentacles, King of Cups, guys, well, hopefully you have the discernment you need if you are looking for a future person because for some of you, I am picking up a, a, a slightly egotistical person. I told you that already, yeah? This card is not great. This card is not great. I think this person sometimes has left uh, a trail of, I would say, victims, right? Just figuratively speaking, emotionally bamboozled victims, right? Lots of promising, lots of talking, lots of chatting. Not shy about that. Not shy about trying to manifest and take people places. And they look good on the outside. They promise, you know, lots of men magical things but then in the end this is where they're taking you nowhere right it, it, it's a place of stuckness um so if you've had this in your history it's something you want to look out as you move forward in your future perhaps with someone um i think some of you did i mention discernment yeah the ability to decide this is coming up because when you don't have that discernment you leave yourself open to be taken advantage of, whether intellectually, emotionally, or otherwise. So you want to kind of uh, be able to detect a lot of this, a lot of trickery, a lot of fast, slick talking that this person would love to do to convince you of one thing or the other. And so um, I would just say, Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I mean, oh, look, oh, Cup of Schnooks came out for you? Lots of people at the bottom. You know, but these are people you've already, ah, oh man, I feel like they're people who've counseled you on a, on a whole bunch of things already about your person and about your, your uh, patterns and discernment and they want the best for you, but it seems like some of you are, are kind of almost disappointed in yourselves. Like when you go out and make a choice and you feel like you've been taken advantage by that choice. And so you're left hanging. Something is hanging in the balance with a decision for you to make and an apology left to give because, you know, you really, 
absorbed someone, put them in your energy, but you know, didn't really determine whether or not that was the right person. I wouldn't feel so badly about it though. I think you're being hard on yourself. I just think you should avoid slick talkers. That's all. Um, cause this person was so ready to talk the most willing in fact, and I could see where that was going really quickly. I think you have a new beginning, a new possibility to find somebody who's a much better match. Um, as soon as you get rid of somebody who's not okay. All right, let us move on to the next sign. And that sign is called peace. <laughs> 